Good morning, everyone. It is February the 24th, 2016. Time for today's five-year auction. Yesterday's two-year auction was well-received. Uh, there was also a story, story out yesterday uh, talking about how foreign central banks had parked $250 billion uh, with the Fed. And part of the reason for that might be is that they could earn some interest on their money. So low interest rates, negative interest rates um, continue to really, really shape what's going on. And because the two, five, and seven year will pay you some money on your money uh, compared to what you can get in Europe <coughs> and other places, uh, uh, the money flows in. So I would expect today's five year auction to be pretty good too. Uh, it has typically been the weakest auction out of all six as far as coverage goes, but people will be looking for indirects in foreign participation. Okay, if we do a London split, um, you can see what, from a volume standpoint, that volume is moving higher in the distributions. We have a double distribution up. Uh, we have a retest of the high at 9. We have a start of this distribution at 4. We've got single prints right here. And I believe those will fill in. <coughs> Today's news uh, is lacking. There wasn't much news overnight. Uh, equities are focusing on the direction of crude, which has re resumed its selling yesterday. And <coughs> outside of China, all equities markets around the globe are lower. Markets uh, service PMI. at 53.4 can come in lower than forecast. New home sales at 5.22. This one is so easy to manipulate. My guess is it's coming in higher than forecast at 5.22. Crude inventories up 2.0. Last night APIs showed a build of 7.1 million. <clears throat> so today's news focus will be uh, new home sales. The market will be eyeing crude oil in the direction of the E-mini, and I believe both of those will be lower today. So we're looking to buy into early weakness in anticipation of a good five-year auction and continued selling in the E-mini. By one is one to five. By two is twenty-five to twenty-nine. On the sell side, we're going to sell failure to take out twelve to sixteen. Um, if the E-mini starts to rally back, getting short. Given the history of the five-year auctions, a pretty good trade. Nineteens to twenty-threes for sell two. Just like last night, um, when we say we do not want to be um, short treasuries anytime the E-mini or equities are selling. Looking at the 30 year, again a very, very strong market. And we're currently at 16, so selling 27s to 31s, leaning against resistance, sell 1, 7 to 11, picking up this high volume number right there. If you could call that, would be sell 2. On the buy side, we broke it out at 11. We have this high at 14. So five to nine, I'll be buy one. And 25 to 29, I'll be buy two.
Looking at gold, another good night. <clears throat> we got into our second sell band. Uh, so resistance is 40. And then it's going to be 48 to 50. So sell one's 39 to 41. And if equities are selling, we really don't want to be short gold. Sell two's 45 to 47. On the buy side, I'd like to buy against 30, but that might be problematic. So we'll say 31 to 33 by one, and 25, 27 by two. The euro continues to work its way down and we have the March ECB meeting where they have pretty well promised us more QE, more support for the market. So let me see, we've got somebody's got some funny noises going on in the background with any meeting right now. And I know people are having trouble signing in. Okay, so the break right here is 110 even. And I'm getting feedback from somebody's speakers. Somebody has their mic on. Yo, Chuck. So, selling against 110. Ninety-five to 110, sell one. Got volume from yesterday in the 12 area, 15 to 25, sell two. Bro, hit, turn your mic off. Gonna have fun with that today, I see. Uh, so, and on the buy side, uh, 75 is logical, so we're, we're pointed lower. So let's go for 50. Buy one. And then buy two will be 25. Really don't like the long side of this contract. And if. Draghi has to come up with something to assure the market that QE continues in a more vigorous form. It can't be good for the euro. And that fits with Draghi's plan to lower the euro so they can export to people outside of the European Union. Okay, crude remains. <coughs> A uh, sale in the strength because of overproduction. So, no matter what happens, we're always looking for a place to sell it. And our buy into expiration last week at 31.55. Market did rally up to 33.83. So that was, that was a hell of a trade. Um, got a pretty clean break in the market right here at 31.50. So 31 and a quarter, 31.50. Sell one. 31.75, 32. Sell two. On the buy side, we've got these single prints down here. So I think we go a little lower, 30 and a quarter, 30.50. Buy one. And then stops below 30. Buy two. 29.75 to 30 even.
Okay, pretty simple on the E-mini. We saw that yesterday, I, and I, I mean it. You had to pick. A, you can't pick a more volatile contract to trade off of. So, um, crude oil was swung the E-mini several times yesterday. Uh, was responsible for some retracement, and that's the situation I think we're going to face today. And like I said, you can't, couldn't pick a much a worse contract to have to trade off of or against. Okay, we've got this extension up the other day that came in the uh, 1890, 95 area. We're at 1901, getting stops below 1900 is a given. Then 1878.80, then we got this W print at 74. So 75 to 80 is probably our best support. And we've got this ledge at 90. So the market is pointed lower. I do like the short side of the market. Do a piece split. And you can see right here we've got a pretty clean break at 1909. Then in this 1903-1905 area. So might get a little rally back. 4 to 9 will be sell 1. Then 14 to 19 sell 2. On the buy side, 90 to 95, buy 1. And then 80 to 85, buy 2. And don't think the news will have much impact today, but we have new home sales at 522K. Probably can beat it. They manipulate that mark, that number. It's amazing how big it can be based on what they actually sell. And then PMI's service at 53.4. Gonna take a bit to get everything up and done and out. Gonna get busy on that. Back with you as soon as possible.